Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel On the menu today you're going to make some lovely fried chicken of a kind of Jamaican, West Indian style In there I've got three lovely sides, I mean they're beautifully big jumbo kind of thighs I find chicken thigh really really good, nice and succulent There's a bone in there and as you can see the skin's on Let's get started I'm going to add some black pepper I'm going to add some allspice, ground allspice or pimento. I've got here some thyme, some fresh thyme. If you haven't got fresh thyme, then just go for some dried thyme. That's no problem. Just break that up and put that in. I've got a touch of vegetable oil or sunflower oil, any oil you like. Got a little bit of turmeric here just to give it a little bit of a colour. I've also got some West Indian pepper sauce. This is an Encona brand, which is my favourite. I'm gonna give it a good squeeze. I'm not gonna be shy with this. I mean that's really hot stuff. Um, you could also use Scotch bonnet, fresh Scotch bonnet if you wanted, which is what this sauce is made of. I'm going to add some salt and then I'm going to go in with some chopped onion and some chopped garlic. It's that simple. We just need to give that a mix around and then cover it. I'm going to cover it and leave it in my fridge for a couple of hours. You could, if you want, cook it immediately. Won't be quite the same. And if you could leave it overnight, that would be fantastic. So, my hands are clean. I'm going in my hands. You can use a spoon if you want. I've got some absolutely gorgeous flavors going on here. And it's just so simple. The next step after this is to get the pan on. And we're gonna shallow fry these in some oil quite slowly. And like I say, you can use any part of the chicken you want. I just prefer chicken thighs. I find them really succulent. It's the best meat of the chicken if you ask me, but everyone's got their own preference. That simple, look at that. Easy peasy peasy. Okay. Okay, so I've got my pan on here. We have a small amount of oil. Let's not forget. We've got some oil in there. So, let's take one piece out, and in she goes. Now the heat's not massively high, we've got a little balance of that stuff there, that marination. Do not throw that away, we're going to add that a bit later. And then really simply, I'm on a kind of medium heat right now. What we're going to do is just fry them, I would imagine for about seven minutes on each side you can flip them over but let's say 14 or 15 minutes at this kind of medium heat they should be done but depending on the size of your chicken i'll be back soon when we're flipping them around okay it works about it's about four or five minutes i'm going to turn them over now Looking beautifully cooked on the outside, but they're not going to be cooked anywhere near on the inside. That's why we're doing them nice and slowly. We've still got a way to go. Yeah, this feels really spongy. When your meat feels really spongy like that, it means it's absolutely pink inside for sure. But yeah, it's looking nice and brown. So again, I'll be back in another five minutes. They might take longer than I've said, but let's see. Here we go then. Beautifully low and slow. I'll turn the heat down a little bit. These are certainly pretty much ready now. That little balance of that marination I'm going to add now. In that goes. I'm going to cook these for about just another two or three minutes. So in total these are actually about 20 minutes these ones. I mean these are quite big. You have to check them, put your fork in. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
tell you what we'll do, let's cut one open. Right down to the bone. So you guys can see it. There you go, you can see that that's white all the way through. I hope you can see that. All the way to the bone, there's no pink happening there. And that's what you want. So simple, so delicious, they're really, really tasty. Hope you enjoy it, see you again next time.